And you can see an example here, right, about literacy. Um, literacy is sufficient if a person is able to read and write in any one language of the three languages in the country, which is English and then um, two local uh, languages. So if a person can read and write in any one of these languages, then literacy is sufficient. So there are no degrees of literacy in the GNH. There is only sufficient or not sufficient. So you can see how this um, would remove most of the information that is actually interesting, right? A country in which most people can barely read or write is very different from a country in which most people have a, a college, a university degree or a doctorate. Um, but in the GNH, this would all be lost. You have a sufficiency. The sufficiency is defined as reading or writing in one language, and that's it. So in this way, especially if you define it like that, the sufficiency, you put it very low, right? You say, we are happy, because this is what sufficient means. We are happy to be a country in which people can just read or write one language. Um, Obviously, it would be a good aspiration to, to want to be a country in which 20% of our citizens have a university degree or to be a country uh, where all our citizens can speak at least two languages. But this is not what the government is doing here, right? And by calling it sufficient literacy, they project an image of some th more achievement than is actually there. Right? If you say a country is sufficiently literate um, and I'm happy as a government, you wouldn't expect this to mean the citizens can just read or write one language. Right? You would expect this to be a little more. Um, so 84.6 have attained sufficiency in this. Um, and, and again, you know, you have to look at this number. 48.6 means under 50%. Under half of the people in Bhutan even fulfill this very basic criterion of being able to read or write in any one language. So half of the population are totally illiterate, right? This is really a very bad state in which the literacy is in Bhutan, right? You have sufficiency in life satisfaction. There are five areas of life satisfaction, health, occupation, family, standard of living, and work-life balance. And for each area, the respondents were asked to say how satisfied or dissatisfied they are in these five areas on a five-point scale. So one was very dissatisfied and five was very satisfied. And so the total results would go from five to 25, depending what you have answered, right? All results of the five areas added together. The cutoff value for sufficiency is 19. So this now is relatively high, one must say, right? And 83% enjoy life satisfaction sufficiency in Bhutan. So this worked out much better than their literacy. Okay, so this is it for the moment. And we will, in the next video, look at more a more detailed evaluation of the GNH.